The Svola Stupa, dating back to the 2nd century, is a sole extant Buddhist relic in Khyber tribal district. A reminder of Kushan rule in the region, the recently restored stupa is situated a few yards to the north of the historic Khyber Pass on a bare rock. This Buddhistara stupa, also known as the Khyber Tope, is located 2.5 km to the northwest of the famous Damrut Fort and 6.0 km northwest of Peshawar's modern town of Hayatbad. According to some archaeologists, this stupa belongs to the early stages of Buddhism in this region, considered a gateway to the Indus Delta. In the past, a number of coins and Buddha figures had been recovered in the vicinity of the stupa, dating back to the 1st century. The Shola stupa as a whole was placed as an object of worship. The actual structure of the stupa was built of limestone blocks, with intervening smaller stones, and its inner core is filled with rough rubble. The outer layers seem to have a finishing of a coating of stucco, which at places is more than an inch in thickness. Sadly, instead of being preserved in all its glory, the stupa and the many monasteries at the site were heaps of bricks, stone and mud, and was plundered by antique hunters for decades. Archaeologists Zravar Khan and Fawad Khan, in their research paper, The Shpola Stupa of Khyber Pass, the 20th century record of a proposed conservation project wrote, though it was a well-preserved monument until the 19th century of the Common Era, however, with the annexation of Khyber into the British Indian Empire, the stupa suffered from illegal digging. However, in 2020, the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Directorate of Archaeology and Museum started archaeological restoration of the stupa. The restoration work was launched under the World Bank-sponsored Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Integrated Tourism Development Project. It was the first time in the history of Pakistan's tribal belt that archaeological restoration was started on this Buddhist-era site to promote religious tourism in the province. The officials said that during the preservation work, Shola Stupa will be scientifically studied and will be observed from different angels to determine the date of its construction and the history of this region. During the earlier excavation at the site, a number of coins have been unearthed, including three coins of King Kanishka, which have Buddha images and are said to have been issued in the later phase of the Kanishka rule. It also included twelve coins of Uvishka and three of Vasudeva I. Eras. The Khyber district remained a part of the glorious Gandhara civilization that flourished in northern Pakistan and parts of Afghanistan from mid 1 cent millennium BCE to the beginning of 2nd millennium BCE. According to archaeologists, besides Gandhara civilization, the tribal region of Pakistan has high potential with regards to ascertaining the prehistoric culture and civilization that flourished in this region but vanished with the passage of time because of man-made disasters and natural calamities. This region is considered a cradle of ancient civilizations, but no effort was made for its scientific and archaeological study even during the British Raj. After independence in 1947, the entire tribal belt was governed under the British Era Frontier Crimes Regulation Act, FCR and this area was not accessible to archaeologists due to security reasons. There was also no staff or department to work for preservation of archaeological sites of the district. However, recently, archaeologists have uncovered multiple undocumented prehistoric sites, including 30,000-year-old rock art in Jamrut Tehsil of Khyber tribal districts that the archaeologists claim would append popular assumptions about the history of the region. The archaeological survey was conducted as a pilot project by the political administration of the district, with technical support from the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Directorate of Archaeology Museums in Zamrud Tehsil. The survey report has documented over 110 prehistoric, Buddhist, Islamic and British era sites across the Tehsil. However, the findings were assumed to be just a tip of the iceberg and it was decided to conduct such surveys in other tehsils of the Khyber district as well. Besides visiting the renowned Buddhist sites in Jamal Ghari and Taktaibahi, a Buddhist delegation led by Aryavangsu, internationally renowned Thai Buddhist monk, also has visited the Shola Stupa.
Please like, comment, and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.